welcome back with another video finally we have Corvus OS 4.0 and today's video is a bit different uh, because I'm starting with the gameplay of PUBG Mobile in Corvus OS 4.0 and this is really a great update and major upgradation uh, compared to the previous two builds and which was uh, 3.0 and 3.2 now this one is 4.0 with Android 12 L support so let's get it started first watch our gameplay and then decide yourself and Corpus is always known as gaming room and top right corner you guys can see here the FPS info and which is continuously uh, 50 uh, you guys will get it 50 around 50 always average And Corpus OS has uh, by default unlimited Google Photos storage and uh, high FPS info. So that's why you are getting here 50, around average 50 FPS always, which is really, really great. Now watch a bit gameplay and then I will uh, provide the full review. No problem. Uh, I played earlier and there was uh, no lag and starter. I didn't get any. I'm not a good player though, but I'm trying my best. There must be danger. Let me heal my life.
so hope you guys understand the gameplay and you people can easily play games like this and of course you will get a better gaming performance here in that room no issues with that now let's get into the full review so that's the gameplay here i'm starting review with the fps info that means the game space so let me show you you guys can see on the top right corner we have the fps info if you click on that you guys will get the settings just click on setting menu and you guys will get the latest game space and which is really great and you guys can change the mode here performance mode like um, UI we have in game space uh, performance mode battery mode and the standard mode you guys can change it according to your choice and if you want if you don't want to uh, enable the fps info just click here and it will be turned off and we have heads up and stay awake and lock gesture while playing games so that's the features and of course you guys can take screenshots and other things uh, like a screen recorder everything is just fine here now let's begin with uh, proper review so first of all i just want to thanks all you know for building this one and really he did great job in that build and fixed all the bugs previously we had like google chrome freezing issue and uh downloading problems then we have we had problem with uh browsing youtube and it, uh, everything got fixed actually if you use and you guys can change uh can get the benefit and this is the really really best build for corbus so i can blindly recommend you guys if you are ready to use this rom of course you guys can install this rom for uh, test uh, if you want to give it a try so you must give it a try let's get it started with the settings and about info and this is a totally new user interface and different ui we have now which is about phone on the top and you guys can check other uh, other things like models, sim status and other things of course we have latest security update and with other things and like we have the android 12 l uh, star egg finally so which is really really great and we have android security update latest kernel used here since perf the latest one i guess and then we have every single category we have here the device settings all these are device settings and then we have the corpus settings if you click on the right side then we have on the top uh, game space theming status bar quick settings log screen battery notification and i'll explain everything so now let's get it started and then we have here the system just like previously we had the gesture option you guys can customize the build length and other things i don't want to waste time showing this uh, regular things then we have here the other things like then we have other things like uh, google password and account safety and emergency privacy and they did here a different categories uh, like connectivity general and then we have system then accounts and safety other things and finally we have the security system and in security we have every possible customization which is face unlock fingerprint and app lock and we have the uh, uh, the first build they made of Corbus uh, we have that full blur screen and in the uh, in 3.2 update they already removed it and now in 4.0 they already uh, they bring it back so which is really great then we have other things accessibility wallpaper and style art like you people can use the wallpaper colors and basic colors according to your choice dark theme and grid everything is cool and by default we have the uh, wallpaper great wallpapers like revenue walls like community pixels and other things no issues with that you guys can use according to choice and the smoothness just mind-blowing i'm using here the vanilla build and i always recommend you guys to use the vanilla build and this is this is really really cool and no lag and stutter like previous build uh, previous build had problem but in that build there is no issues like that so you people can easily use in daily life without any issue and by default we have the launcher which is really customizable and a huge customization is available icon size font size abroad opacity and recent opacity row heights and everything and free ram and space and use taskbar other things and every possible customization is available let me show you you guys can see here the free ram and space and the smoothness is just awesome and the background blur is really cool it looks really great and we have border on 
clock and date and time in you know, whatever you say and we have uh, some customization in control center which is customizable like you guys can change the control center if you are bored with uh, bored with android 12 customization in the control center then of course this is really cool feature for you and this is the great animation you guys can directly access your uh, restart power and other things if you want to enable the advanced restart then of course you guys can do that now let me show you other things the customizations and display setting as usual every possible customizations are available here and display cutout could be changed according to your choice and full screen application available which application you want to use in full screen display you guys can do that then we have the sound setting like as before no changes here and the other things network and internet is cool now let's get into corvus settings finally we have the game space and i already showed it in uh, gaming so then we have the custom color which is theming you guys can change and the custom font i'm using here which is mi sense from new y and then we have the icon packs every single icon pack is there and i'm using here the payable and other things like signal icons wi-fi icons you, you people already know about that i don't want to waste time here and traffic indicator is perfectly working no issues and just awesome everything is just awesome you guys can change the dp of the default settings which is status bar clock font size and qs header clock font size you guys can change it according to your choice then color notification icon, Volti, Vo Wi-Fi icon, default, you guys can display Volti icon when available and display Volti icon can be uh, changed like uh, default icon size, you guys can customize. So Vo Wi-Fi override and other things, every single customization is available, nothing is missing here. Then we have the quick settings and you guys can change the brightness slider position and QS transparency. I made it zero like this. So it looks like this. Then we will get a QS panel style, which one I'm using. The last one, QS color pop and you people can use, uh, choose any of this. So let me show you one and let me sh uh, select that one. that will be like this and if I select this one so let it be selected and this one looks cool right you guys can change the control center which is really great and well, all the customization is available in uh, control center so no problem with that I guess and then we have all the possible customization like a notification battery heads up and reticker and ambient ambient is lighting just cool features and miscellaneous we have something new like uh, you people can strict standby policy and background task freezer which is uh, useful for some people and of course higher fps in gaming i already showed it and unlimited google photos storage is available now the main and uh, the final verdict will be from me and which is if you ask me if you want to use that room of course you guys can use that room on your daily life no issues with that by default you people will get the google camera go and i already made so many videos on google camera if you want to use in your redmi 7 or redmi y3 you guys can try this out just check out description for videos and now let me show you the safety net which is passed by default or not so i already checked it it by default safety net passed no issues with that and if you want to uh, see the CPU shortening and which is uh, a bit poor right now, that, uh, that thing actually depends on your surroundings and environmental situation. And if I check it again, I will get better performance. And I didn't get any problem in playing games, so which is really great. And uh, the last one, which is Geekbench score let me show you and which is single core and multi core will be more better and single core is just awesome just awesome and multi core is just average okay no issues with that so that's the final product if you people want to use that rom on your daily life you guys can do that so thank you for watching